Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich. That's Emery Hunt, the czar of playbook. NFL Week 6 is upon us already. This season cannot go any quicker, though, for the Oakland Raiders, who are having a terrible one. Distractions, I mean, everything bad across the board for the Raiders. On the other hand, the Eagles having a great season. Donovan McNabb comes back last week, hits his First round rookie target, Jeremy Macklin. Welcome to the NFL. Two touchdowns, including a long touchdown pass. What do the Eagles need to do to show their dominance against Oakland, just like Philadelphia's rival did the Giants when Oakland came in there last week? Well, key to victory for the Eagles, number one, you just want to attack that Raider secondary. Outside of Namdi Asamoa, there's nobody back there that can help out the corner, the talented cornerback. So you can take some shots deep with that secondary. That would be number one, attack that secondary vertically. Two, you want to be multiple because don't give the Raiders an opportunity to, to stop you and make you one-dimensional. So you want to be multiple. Get your McCoys in the game. Get your uh, your Westbrook's running going. He only had six carries last, last week. You don't need six carries last week. They were able to win passing the ball against Tampa. But you want to be multiple in offense. And also that O-line has to make sure they protect because the Raiders, when they want to, can get after the quarterback so that's going to be the keys to victory. Protect up front, attack the Raiders vertically, and get that running game going. Get it multiple, you know, develop that continuity, develop that, that momentum going into the next game. There's really nothing they can do against the Raiders offense. The Raiders shoot themselves in the foot on offense. And for the Raiders, what kind of miracle can they pull off to even stay in this game against one of the most prominent teams in the NFC? Well, keys to victory for the Raiders, they have to play with some heart. Right now, offensively, they're not playing with heart. Jamarcus Russell is, is showing his inaccuracies. They're going to have to do something to help him get the ball moving down the field because right now teams do not respect the pass and they're just loaded up and stopping the run. So they're going to have to at least do something in the passing game for number one. Two, they're going to have on defense, they're going to have to come out and play aggressive. What is that Raiders defense from week one? Was that an aberration or now they're resulting back to their preseason days uh, when the defense was getting shredded during the preseason? The Raiders have to come out defensively and get after McNabb and get after that offense, hit those receivers. The one thing about the Raiders, they do have some big defenders, so and the Eagles have some small receivers. So that can be a, a situation where the Raiders can build some momentum by showing, by you know, sticking their their foot in the ground and teeing off on these receivers, showing them they're coming to play and playing at home. And three, have some self pride. They have to come out here and be ready to play. This is an Eagles team. If you want to make a a stand in this league and want to show people that you are an NFL team, don't give up. Come out and take the hearts out of Eagles by playing aggressive on offense and defense and playing with some swagger early and often. But with that said, I do like the Eagles in this game. I just don't like the Raiders secondary. It's the fact that the only aspect of the Raiders defense that I like is that linebacking crew. And the moral victory for the Eagles would be if they stomp on Oakland's throat, which I can see happening here because it's just a mess in Oakland. I like the Eagles. It's unanimous. I'm pretty sure it's unanimous everywhere. But for more pro football coverage, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.